Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another video of the Diving Trading. My name is Daniel, and today, guys, we're going to be looking at Danima Scientific. Uh, those of you who follow my channel know that I've done a video on this one uh, quite a couple, well, a couple of months. Well, in fact, here we go, two months ago, exactly two months ago. So on the 30th of January, I've done a, a, stock, uh, a review, an in, well, quite an in-depth in review on this. Uh, today, the idea is to go through the news, uh, whether we still believe that this is a company worth investing for in the future. I'm not going to go into the details about this company, so if you do want to see the details, uh, a full review on this company, I'll leave the link in the description. So it's this video here that I put out on 30th of January. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at prices. We're going to look at the last well, a little bit of news that we've been receiving recently to see if we still think it's a an investment for the future. So let's dive right into it. So this company, uh, just a brief overview of this company without going to detail. This is a company that makes a biopolymer material. Okay, so material that has many, many, many uh, patents, uh, I can't remember how many there were, I think there were over 90 patents for this uh, type of product. They, they call it Nodax, and basically what it is, is a plastic that's biodegradable. Okay, so in other words, it's a, a plastic, type of plastic, it's not a, the plastic, a type of plastic, that is thrown into the sea, and basically it disappears uh, in a matter of months. Okay, so that's basically what it is. So it's, this is really a great solution for uh, the environment, okay, for pollution. Uh, and so, yeah, that's what this is company is, uh, that's what it's all about. So this is the news, this is what's been happening, this is actually very recent, this is like uh, a couple of days old now. So, uh, breaking news, Rosen, a top-ranked law firm, encourages Danima Scientific investors with losses in excess of $100,000 to inquire about class action investigations. Why? Rosen Law Firm, a, a, a global investor rights law firm, announced it is investigating potential security claims on behalf of its shareholders of Danima Scientific, resulting from allegations that Danima Scientific may have issued materially misleading business information to the investing public. So what? If you purchase Danima Scientific securities, you may be entitled to compensation without payment of any of pocket fees or costs through a contingency free uh, arrangement the rosen law firm is preparing a class action seeking recovery of investors laws uh, losses now okay so what is it about let's see what this is about let's see uh, what it's about and here it is uh, there was an article on march the 20th 2021 the wall street journal published an article that entitled Plastic straws that quickly biodegrade in the ocean, not quite, scientists say, addressing amongst other things, Danima Scientific claims that Nodax, a plant-based plastic with the company markets, break down far more quickly than fossil fuel plastics. The article alleges that, according to several experts on biodegradable plastics, many claims about Nodax are exaggerated and misleading. Further, the article cites... An expert are stating that broad claims about Nodex biodegradability is not accurate and is greenwashing. Okay, so this is what it's about. This is actually on the 26th of March, guys. So a couple of days ago. Now it just so happens, now it just so happens that uh, Danima report their financial results for 2020 for the fourth quarter and the full year uh, on Monday. Are we worried? Would you be worried? Uh, let's sit down and think about it. Let's start to think of... If we start to look at this company, uh, uh, what they are, what they've... I mean, if it was a company that was just starting up, I won't go through studies, uh, then yeah, I would say so. It would be something to worry about. If it was a, a penny stock or a very small stock with no clients, then I would agree. It would be worrying. Having said that, if we sit down and think about this company, who they are, where they've come from, and what clients they have, it sort of gives you a reason to think, well, is this true? I mean, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Clients, who are their clients? So here we are. So they have UGA, so okay, they're in partnership with them. PepsiCo, 
Now, I mean, come on, PepsiCo, guys. PepsiCo joins forces with Dynamo trying to develop sustainable, flexible packaging. Now, do you think PepsiCo, a client like PepsiCo, is it going to be going in, working with a product, a fake product? I mean, it's quite difficult to understand, and it's... I'm not saying this is true. I'm not saying that this article is true, but it just so happens. Now, that's that's from my point of view. I believe this product is uh, is it, it works. They've got this far, and uh, why would why would a company why would this happen? Now, a lot of companies, and we've seen this in the investment world. We've seen it recently. In fact, we probably see it nearly every day. There's a lot of institutions or a lot of big companies out there that love to invest in these companies because they're innovative companies. They have a solution to a problem. In fact, a very big problem. And they want to invest in this company because it's big for the future. They believe in this company, like I do, has been a trillion dollar company in the future. So why don't we just bring out some bearish or some short report, put some bad news out there. What would happen to the price? Investors will get scared off. They'll sell. Prices go down. Oh, cheaper. I'm not saying this is the case on this, guys. Don't uh, get me wrong. Uh, I'm not here to point fingers. Again, this video is on my point of view. So I'm not making any allegations to anyone. This is my point of view. And this is my uh, feelings. And you may disagree. Because it could be correct. It could be correct. And it could be very well that this company does have a product that doesn't actually work properly. But I find that very hard to believe. Okay, so there's too many scientific uh, evidence uh, about this company, uh, what it does. So yeah, that's my that's my uh, point of view. That's what I think of this company. Uh, I mean, look, have a look here. They've even started to go in now. This is recently. This was like a, a couple of weeks ago. They've even got Mars Wrigley. Mars Wrigley, you know, the, the company that makes Skittles. Mars Wrigley and some Dunham and Scientific help environmentally conscious consumers to compost at home by developing a biodegradable packaging from natural ingredients. Innovative Partnerships puts Mars Wrigley at forefront of the sustainable packaging movement with eco-friendly technology made from nature that biodegrades in soil and oceans. So these big companies, I mean, these big companies don't just wake up one morning and say, oh yeah, look, it looks like it, what they say sounds good. I could do that. So, again, I, I don't know. I find it so hard to believe. Uh, I think uh, this company is a company that's worth investing in. Nevertheless, having said that, it, it would mean, it still does mean that we have news like this. We always have to make sure that we have our eyes peeled, our ears uh, wide, uh, listening to what's happening. Um, because, yeah, there could be news that could be uh, could affect the stock. Uh, it still doesn't change the fundamentals at the moment because I don't think there's any evidence of this. Uh, but we need to be we need to be aware. But let's get in. Uh, let's have a look at the price. So price uh, price we did have uh, yeah well, well actually it went higher than from what I remembered back in February it was up as high as sixty six dollars a share so uh, which is actually it's price target for for this year so around about 66 uh so yeah uh, we've had obviously the market dropped uh, this is obviously due to the whole market uh, itself not just dynamo so a lot of selling off and uh, most recently uh, we had a nice really nice prices uh, at the beginning of march absolute bargain prices and in fact this is where i actually averaged in uh, I averaged in not on the bottom here would have been nice, uh, but I think I averaged I think it was around about thirty five, yeah thirty five dollars. So my average is about forty. So I bought some here, and then we had the rise, and then boom, this is a uh, hit that resistance level up there as we can see, and now we're down, and we're actually down at the support level. So we're down bouncing on the support level, which is $38, which is still a good price for, uh, from my point of view. I think this is a great price for this company. So, uh, yeah, if I was new to this company, uh, I wanted to invest, I would be buying here, no doubt. Uh, I'm not going to average in here because obviously, as I mentioned, I it's already close to my original price. I would like to see it cheaper. Uh, I would like to see it come back down to the $29 range. Uh, and we'll see. Uh, we don't know. It could bounce back off the support level, 
it is at at the moment, which is at 38, and then hits find its way back up towards the $50 mark. Or we could see the uh, depends on what's happening this week. So it will be very interesting to see number one the results and number two um, the uh, what's happening with this uh, what we just talked about this uh, case. So that is what uh, what it is. Uh, do I believe this company is worth an investment? Uh, I still say it does. I still say it does. I find it hard. Like I said, I find it very hard to believe that this can be true it can be uh, we will have to see we'll have to follow the news but uh, yeah I'm, I still invest in this company uh, and uh, yeah let me know what you think guys in the comments below you invest in this company uh, does this worry you this news uh, or finding this news do you like this company would you like to invest in it remember watch my video guys with an in-depth analysis on the company Make sure you hit that like button guys, and uh, subscribe because that really helps my uh, channel grow. Uh, guys, thank you for watching and speak to you soon. Bye-bye now.